guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys 10 Dollar Tree Valentine's DIYs. They are super easy and budget friendly. So you guys, let's just jump right into the video. First DIY, you'll need three of these cutting boards from Dollar Tree along with some ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. And then I'm just going to be using some stencils. These are about four to five inches and I'm just going to be using an I and a U. And the heart is also from the Dollar Tree. Now this was from a year or so ago, so if you cannot find the foam hearts, they always have so many different options for the craft area. And like I said, these stencils I think are four to five inches, and I just like to trace it out with a pencil, and then I eventually just go back and paint it in with some acrylic black paint. This was so easy to do, and I love the way these turned out. This one I'll be using this love wooden sign along with a scrap piece of wood and I'm going to be using a Waverly chalk paint as well and this is just in white. And then I'm just going to be painting the entire sign with a Waverly chalk paint. You could definitely stain this. I think stain would look super cute on this as well. Uh, but I wanted to go for more of the shiplap look so that's why I decided to paint it white. Using this red apple color by Apple Barrel and painting the love sign. make the shiplap I'm just gonna be using a sharpie and a ruler and going along and across the scrap piece of wood use some e6000 to put on the back side of the love sign and then I'm just sticking it right in the center and then you can definitely just use hot glue I just went with e6000 so it would last Life. The roads that lay open are many when the using a frame from Dollar Tree and some buttons that were also from the Dollar Tree and then a cookie cutter. You don't have to use the cookie cutter but I thought this would be way easier because I cannot make a perfect heart and I'm just going to be tracing this and making an outline so I'm able to put the buttons in here. My oldest daughter Scarlett helped me do this one and we just put the buttons on here with some hot glue and then we started stacking them putting them on top of each other to hide all of the background if we want to that's what we want to call it uh just to make a perfect button heart This one, you will need some burlap, some scrap pieces of wood, red apple, jet black, and white acrylic pa paint, has not say paper, and some Mod Podge. And just me cutting this burlap down to size onto my scrap pieces of wood. And I think these were about four to six inches long. And then I just ended up taking some paint and actually painting the back sides of these and then I end up painting the burlap as well. I end up painting the burlap with white and red. Burlap is not the most fun to paint and it's not the easiest to paint but I love the way these turned out. I just wanted something to add to my three tier tray and I think these are the perfect fit and I did end up just gluing the burlap on with some Mod Podge and then using some stencils to do the I and the U because this is another I Love U project. And I will link my Valentine's Decorate With Me 3 tier tray video to show you guys a lot of the ideas that I used in here. But um, I loved this, <laughs> loved that 3 tier tray that year. So I will be adding that in the description box below so you guys can check that out and to see how I decorated that with these little blocks. This morning I so clear a lot as any To see the horizon and the far X 
excuses were too for a penny. So DIY, you'll need a puzzle, one of these signs. I liked the see through one, some of this burlap ribbon, and these heart doilies. The heart doily is 100% optional. You actually could just uh, put it right on there and leave it as is. I decided to use the puzzle pieces, paint them white, and then I just put them on top of the doily. This was just another option for me to get a perfect heart because, like I said, I cannot draw them out and I was not even going to try to freehand it with the puzzle pieces. But I just kept adding them just like the button <laughs> DIY I recently just showed you. And this one was super cute as well. And I loved being able to use the puzzle pieces just to give this a little bit of extra. I decided to go back in with this ribbon and just put it all around the edges. But they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I feel the wind on my face, all that ever was. Hey, why I just be using floral moss and this love sign. And all I did was take my hot glue gun and glue the moss right to this love sign. I used to absolutely love using moss and now it's just become way too messy for me. So you will rarely see me use moss maybe in the springtime, but that is probably it. But I thought this was really cute because I love like the farmhouse rustic look in my home and I thought that this was perfect. This was very time consuming. You could definitely cut up the moss a little bit more, but I just kind of went all around the edges, around the insides, and then I did have to trim it down in the end. It's you'll need some burlap a scrap a piece of wood you can always use the longer signs from the Dollar Tree as well and then I'm just using some red spray paint and then I'm using these stencils once again these are in the five inch and then I'm also going to be using that cookie cutter once again as well for the cookie cutter I decided to use some tin foil and made a cute little heart for this love sign I love the way this turned out this was so fast and so easy to make but it's so pretty add some twine to the top and you have yourself a cute sign So what would Valentine's Day be without a wreath? I'm using a heart-shaped wreath in this burlap. This is from Burlap Fabric. You can get 100 yards for about $13, and it is 3 inches wide. So I love doing these little loopy wreaths, and all you have to do is take the burlap and shove it through the bottom of each hole, and then you just keep repeating that until your little area of your heart is super full. I have a really good tutorial on this. I will link that for you guys as well. But really all you do is push the burlap um, up through the hoops back and forth back and forth until it is super super full so you go around like the top part of the hole then the bottom and then you just keep going back you can twist your burlap so it stays but you always want to hold this down because it is hard but like I said um, I will give you guys a better tutorial in the description box below it's an older video but it is the one where I took my whole entire video to teach you guys how to make this wreath I'm just going to be using some of this burlap chevron check chevron <laughs> I think that's what it's called uh, this is from Dollar Tree as well and I'm just be cutting it right in the center and I'm making a little banner for the wreath and I think this was super cute and I just used a really quick little uh, stencil from the Dollar Tree as well to write out love the paint was dry I did just 
um, take my little banner and I just wrapped the top around some twine so it would actually look like a cute little banner. I think I'm going to have to do this again this year. It has been a while since I've made something like this and I think this turned out super, super cute. I'm really impressed with the way it turned out. And then I just found a little spot that I wanted to add it to the wreath and then I was just kind of playing with some florals from the Dollar Tree as well, figuring out what I wanted to do with it and just started adding everything to the wreath. Tomorrow there's no time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today is a good day today and not tomorrow So easy these little candle mason jar holders and some of these little glass gems these are the clear and red and I'm just gonna be putting these right inside of the little mason jars and then I only had to use one bag and then I just put the little candle holders back in with some little tea light candles and that was it for this how easy but how cute idea is you can make wreaths out of these little tinsel type pieces. I have done so many with these for Christmas and if you cannot find the actual wreath forms from the Dollar Tree, this is a, just another great option that you could use. And you just take the tinsel off. And then what I did with this, I started just shoving the burlap through the bottom like I did with the last wreath. But this one was a lot easier because the holes were a lot smaller. So all I did was just tuck burlap in until the little hole was super full and you could fill it in. And then I just kept going all the way around. But like I said, this was really, really easy. I did just go row by row because that just made it a lot easier. But I love making wreaths because they, you can always just put whatever you want on them. And that's, I think, why I like wreaths so much. Once that's done, you can always fluff up the burlap. So if you don't like the way it looks, I'm using one of these little signs from Dollar Tree and just pulling this one off. Using those little doilies from the Dollar Tree, once again, I am just going to be sticking that in the center and then putting the little XOX sign on the top. And that is it for this cute little wreath. Like, how simple was this? Super cheap and super inexpensive. Scrap wood DIY for you. I'm just going to be using the Cardinal Crimson and then the Waverly Chalk Paint in the plaster and painting little scrap pieces of wood. So if you don't have the scrap pieces of wood, you can always use the little tiny shadow boxes or like the little wooden boxes from the Dollar Tree. I think that would work just as good. So I'm just going to be painting these and using a stencil and painting XO, XO on it with the Cardinal Crimson Red Color from Apple Barrel. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed these simple Valentine DIYs. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine and got time. To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come